we've spent a lot of time talking about big and powerful creatures. Some of them are already extinct, while some of them are still with us today. If you've been watching our videos, you'll know by now that a lot of these monsters live in the ocean. And today we're going to honor one of the most popular among all of them, the sharks. That's right, today we're going to be looking at the 10 most powerful sharks in the world. So get ready for your heart to start pumping adrenaline into your system as we come face to face with some of the scariest animals in the world. And we're not talking about Jaws or any other fictional characters. We're talking about the most powerful sharks in the world. Find out just what's at the top of this list and learn about how badly it can be for you to encounter one of these beasts. Number 10. The Black Tip Shark The Black Tip Shark doesn't need a long introduction. You'll be able to distinguish it from others by looking at its fin and the black spot on their tip. These sharks love tropical and subtropical waters, so expect to find them in lots of places such as the Caribbean Sea and the Paradisal Islands of Southeast Asia and pretty much in any tropical location around the world. A large black tip can be as big as 2.5 meters long with about 100 kilos of weight. They're actually not as big as other sharks and they're just slightly longer than humans, but that doesn't take away the fact that they're fearless predators. You'll see them spinning around three or four times before diving deep towards their food. Their food includes small groups of fish and sometimes as larger meals like rays, lobsters, and smaller sharks. They're not a very big threat to us humans and there are only 41 cases reported in which a black tip shark attacked a human. Only one of those was fatal, but overall they're curious and a bit shy. Sometimes they come around scuba divers just to see what they're up to, but the sharks stay at a safe distance from them. Number 9. The Sand Tiger Shark I guess no one really wants to come near a shark that has the word tiger in its name. But even though the Sand Tiger Shark is very powerful and intimidating, they're not a real threat for humans. These animals like to hunt at night and they like to spend their day hiding in the rocks, caves, and reef in shallow waters. Studies have shown that small sand tiger sharks feed from the bottom of the sea and as they grow older they begin to hunt on prey that lives and swims in the water such as squids and bony fish. Most sand tiger sharks live in sandy shores, which explains their name, and you can find them in countries like Japan, Australia, Argentina, South Africa, and along the east coast of the United States. Again, they're not a threat to humans, but they're very easy to spot due to the fact that they like the shallow waters. Only 29 attacks on humans have been reported, and none of them were fatal. Also, it's necessary to point out that a lot of these attacks involved spearfishing in which a sand tiger shark was most likely the victim that had to defend itself against the humans. Number 8. The Great Hammerhead I'm not sure if you're aware, but the hammerhead is a family of sharks, and only experts are able to differentiate the different kinds of hammerheads out there. But if we have to choose one as the most powerful, that would be the Great Hammerhead. The Great Hammerhead can reach up to 6 meters in length and 590 kilos in weight. Not only is it the largest one, but it's also the most aggressive in the family. All hammerheads receive their name due to their hammer-shaped heads, but you can tell the great hammerhead apart by the almost straight front margin of their heads and their tail dorsal fin. The great hammerhead is an apex predator, which means that it's at the top of its food chain. Some of its favorite meals include crabs, lobsters, bony fish, and even smaller sharks. I wouldn't worry too much if you ever come in close contact with one of them, though. There have only been 17 cases in which a hammerhead shark attacked humans. But don't get too comfortable. You don't want to be case number 18. Number 7. The Blue Shark The blue shark receives its name from its countershaded body that is deep blue on top, lighter on the sides and white on the bottom. Although they are pretty much everywhere around the world, it's very unlikely that you've seen one, unless you've gone to the aquarium, of course, or if you've gone to the deep parts of the ocean. The reason why is because the blue sharks belong in the deep waters, and they rarely come in contact with people. Mostly the humans they've seen are curious divers, and yes, they are very unaggressive sharks, but it's been noted that sometimes they circle swimmers for about 15 minutes before they go for a test bite. They also have been known to attack survivors of shipwrecks and aircraft accidents. Overall, these sharks have attacked humans 13 times since the year 1580, but those 13 cases have given us enough information to know that they're indeed powerful and should never be messed with. Number 6. The Shortfin Mako the next shark gained its place on this list by being one of the fastest sharks out there. And that's what makes it powerful, actually. The shortfin mako has recorded speeds of about 74 kilometers per hour, but some scientists believe that the animal can go faster. That's a very high speed. It's about the same speed as cars on a regular freeway, without traffic, of course. 
Now the problem with the short fin mako and humans is not necessarily their attacks. After all, this shark has only been reported to have attacked humans on 10 different occasions. Instead, the problem that they cause are due to the speed. At their fast speed, these sharks like to make leaps out of the water and sometimes they land on people's boats. This kind of behavior has caused injuries on them and also the people in said boats, but who are we to blame them? The ocean is their habitat and there's no way we can restrict their movement. I guess we just gotta be cautious. Number 5. The Bronze Whaler And now things get a bit heavier with the Bronze Whaler, also known as the Copper Shark. This one is a large shark that can reach a size of 3 meters long and weigh more than 300 kilos. You might think that such a heavy beast would have a hard time moving around, but this shark is actually a very fast swimmer. Being such a big shark, it makes sense that it can feed from large animals such as the octopus and all sorts of cartilaginous fish, and even from dogfish sharks. There's been quite a number of attacks on humans, mostly on swimmers and surfers who were casually going about their day on the shores of Australia's east coast when they had the terrifying and unprovoked encounter with this beast. And there have also been cases in which they harass some spear fishermen. Overall, the Bronze Whaler has been officially responsible for at least 15 attacks on humans, and two of those had had fatal consequences. Number 4. The Oceanic White Tip If you're able to identify the Black Tip Shark, then you'll know how to identify the Oceanic White Tip. And that's right, by looking at their white tipped fin. These predators are a threat to shipwreck survivors and anyone else who's stranded in open waters. With their powerful jaws and large size, they are the kind of shark that you really don't want to have near you. The largest oceanic white tip recorded was a bit larger than 4 meters long, which makes it quite threatening for any human being. But more than their large size and intimidating features, what makes this shark so intimidating is its behavior. The white tips like to attack and compete for their food. That's why they're a threat for helpless humans in the open water. Because if there's one of these sharks coming after you, there's probably a few more coming right after. Luckily, only 10 attacks on humans have ever been recorded, but I already know that the Oceanic White Tip is not the kind of company I'd like to keep in the event of a terrible accident. Number 3. The Tiger Shark As we get closer to the top, things only get more aggressive. Third on our list is the Striped Tiger Shark. Solitary and a nocturnal hunter, this beast is aggressive and is a merciless eater, feeding itself from anything that crosses its path, even garbage. They've actually been given the nickname of the Waste Bucket of the Sea because they will eat virtually anything. Human garbage, trash, humans, dogs, cats, everything. They do have common prey though. That includes seals, birds, turtles, and sadly our beloved dolphins. The tiger shark is one of the largest ones in the world. One of them grew as big as 4.8 meters long and weighed more than a ton. This shark is definitely the most dangerous one in the tropics, and more than 100 attacks on humans have been documented, including the one on famous surfer Bethany Hamilton, who lost her arm to a tiger shark while surfing in Australia. There are more dangerous sharks in the world, but this one is probably among the most common threats to regular surfers and beachgoers. So keep your eyes open if you go for a swim in the tropics, especially in Australia. Reason why? You'll be jumping right into tiger shark territory. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I have for you today perfectly shows the fear that many of us have. The fear of coming face to face with one of the most powerful sharks in the world. Now the question is, what are the two most powerful sharks in the world and what could happen if we come near them? If there's one thing I learned from the movies is that being in a cage is pretty much pointless once you're being preyed on by a powerful shark. Number 2. The Bull Shark just like the tiger shark, the bull shark is eager to eat anything, even humans. The bull shark is not only an aggressive shark, but it's also very territorial. And it's this possessive behavior that drives it to attack any creatures that threaten its space. For that reason, it is not surprising that one out of three attacks end up in a fatality. One of the most interesting things about them is that they like to live in shallow and warm waters, and that's not limited to the ocean. They can also be found in estuaries, rivers, and lakes, although it's not as common. But yes, they can survive in fresh waters. In fact, over in Africa, they're also called Zambi sharks in reference to the river where they're found. And in Nicaragua, they're also called the Lake Nicaragua sharks. In the year of 1916, there were multiple bull shark attacks reported along the coast of New Jersey in the United States. These events inspired the book that later inspired the movie Jaws. So, have you ever wondered about the shark that inspired this movie? Now you know it was the bull shark. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. 
Just try it. It really worked. Number one. The Great White Shark. The list would not be complete without the most popular shark, and hands down the most powerful of them all, the Great White Shark. If you've watched our videos, you've seen how they're responsible for some of the most dangerous beaches in the world and how they can swim throughout the ocean with total freedom as the proud apex predator of their food chain. And then there's the orca who kind of eats them, but that's besides the point. You might also remember them as part of the largest beast in the ocean with their 7 meters of length and their 1100 kilos of weight. One little nibble can make you lose an arm or a leg, and unfortunately there have been at least five white shark attacks reported on a yearly basis. Overall, there have been 400 white shark attacks reported and about 80 of them were deadly. But just because they're dangerous, it doesn't mean they should be victims of human atrocities. Just like most sharks on this list, the great white shark needs our protection. Otherwise, in a few years from now, we won't be able to see a lot of the sharks I showed to you today. And those are the 10 most powerful sharks in the world. Are you impressed? Do you have a favorite? Maybe you survived a shark attack? Let us know in the comment section down below. We'd love to read your thoughts. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.